What's going on guys? Today we're gonna try to make a gift recipe. As everybody knows, these gift recipes are completely useless. They don't tell you how to do anything. They kind of just show you a highlight. It's more of a highlight video of baking. And what we're gonna try to make today is garlic knots. First, I'm gonna give you a little overview of the equipment that's gonna be needed. Uh, we need one of these. Sort of like a rubber paint brush. Uh, it's a meat barbecue spreader. We're gonna use that. Long obnoxious knife. We're gonna use that. Circular knife. We're gonna use that. Spoon. That's it. Bowl. That's it. Parsley. Parm. Pizza crust. Bottled olives. Oregano. Garlic powder, smart balance, cutting board, cookie sheet. That's like seven things. That's all you need for this, all right? Uh, step number one, we're going to de-sheath the parsley, 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 parsley. De-sheath the parsley. Now, I don't know like, what quantities of anything that I need because they don't cover that in the video, all right? They just kind of post the video. They kind of just like, let me get that out of the way for now. All right, so I'm just gonna chop up, hopefully, the correct amount of parsley. How much parsley do I need? All right, I'm just gonna keep cutting parsley until I learn how to do it the right way. I don't, do you, do you use the stem? So we actually do need the cookie sheet for this next step. So I retrieved that. And then this is peel and pop, so apparently just Insert. Oh, wait, there we go. We're oozing. They don't show you how to do this part in the video. Oh yeah, boy. We're spilling out. Then, uh, All right. Uh, and then I think in the video, they actually unrolled it. It's like you're changing a diaper on a newborn baby, you know? Oh, yeah, that's some fresh canned dough. All right, and then I just saw... We're giffing now, we're really giffing. All right, next step. What about the pizza knife? All right. Dude, I feel like the Food Network right now. I don't know the measurements, I just watch the GIF. Alright, so I have a bunch of even strips of pizza dough here. Really precise measurements. Next uh, comes, we need to tie these into a knot. Hence garlic knot. I don't know, I never, I, I, I skipped this part of the Boy Scouts. When we learned how to tie the garlic knot. And they don't, they don't show you how to do this in the video at all. All right, so that's one knot. As you can see, these are all very even. I did a really, really good job of making sure to evenly distribute my dough. It's a very communist plate we got going here. Chef Putin, Chef Mal, Chef Bernie. And that's how you tie a San Diego traffic jam. Okay. Pull it tight, over, under, back in and around, come out the middle. We're almost done here. That's a knot, right? I'm doing it at the same speed too. 
shove it in there. This is taking a really long time to actually tie these knots. All right, let's see. Ugh. All right, I don't have time for this. Tuck it in, put a little bow tie on it. There we go. It looks like Christmas morning. Who wouldn't want to open that up on Christmas day? Walk out, see the... So next we're gonna take this concise measurement of parsley that I just spilled everywhere. And we're gonna put that into our melted butter. They don't show this in the video really. Um, again, they kind of just like gloss over it because who needs measurements and who needs details? It's not like cooking is like, you know, hard, you know. My grandma could cook and, you know, she's dead. Next. All right, so I'm gonna add in enough garlic powder. Okay, so I have garlic powder, oregano leaf, leaf oregano next. And then, I have a lot of butter in my hands here. This is the hardest part of the whole recipe is opening up the parm. Probably that much. We're gonna mix this all together. Ooh, that's a satisfying noise. Come, listen to this. Give that a healthy stir. Time to paint up these rolls like Leonardo da Vinci. See the key to painting a nice roll? Is to have a loose wrist, tight morals, and a firm belief in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Getting basted. I'm the master baster. I think I have too much seasoning here. I, again, they don't tell you I have too much. They don't tell you how much. I'm just gonna keep going. Let me try some of this raw. Look, it's so salty. I didn't even put any salt in this. I think these bad girls are ready for the oven now. Okay guys, our rolls are done. And frankly, they look better than the video. Could ever hope to have their rolls look. Uh, personally, I'm very proud of this specific one right here. As you can see, it came out perfectly. Uh, this is with no idea how many ingredients, how much of anything I needed. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try it out. I have my uh, homemade marinara sauce. Grandma's recipe right there, son. Let's see how it goes. See if it tastes like they taste in the video. I forgot how bland grandma made her sauce. I'm proud of myself here, you know? We beat the gif. I mean, there's no way that that gif tasted better than this. Yeah, hey guys, um, so that's the video. If you enjoyed, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know uh, if you have any recipes you'd like to see me attempt. If you have, you know, if you want me to go through like your grandma's index cards, your aunt's, you know, trunk where she keeps stuff maybe there's a recipe in there you want me to cook that and eat it listen uh, i want to throw down with your relatives okay give me their recipe i'll beat it give me a gif i'll beat it give me a garlic knot i'll eat it thanks for watching